One of the coolest shots in the movie Titanic is right at the end as it disappears beneath the waves. You can see its name and then Liverpool. Now, Titanic set off from Southampton and she was built in Belfast. So what gives? Why Liverpool? Liverpool is a seafaring town, a pretty cool one at that, with a long connection with Titanic's parent company and owners, the White Star Line. See, the company had begun back in 1886, headed by Thomas Ismay, and its ships used to run people from that city out to New York. Over the decades, it grew exponentially, so White Star Line ships were running people from Liverpool out to Australia, Canada, and even more American ports like Boston. Because the city was the virtual hub of the entire transatlantic passenger trade, the headquarters for that company were on James Street in central Liverpool. Now, virtually every ship needed a port of call. This is where all the important things like insurance, pay, and safety regulations would be mandated. It was also where most of the crew would ostensibly be drawn from and where the base of operations should be. But by 1912, the White Star Line had pulled a clever little move like some other lines, had shifted its base of operation from Liverpool down to Southampton. This way, their ships could pop by Europe on the way past and pick up even more migrants and travellers. White Star's main officers still stayed over in Liverpool, though, because even in Titanic's day, many of their ships used to run from that city. So, even though Titanic never visited the city, it was registered, as tradition would dictate, to Liverpool. And it had the city's name engraved right under the name Titanic, as law dictated, at the stern or the rear of the ship. We still actually have the original registration document from March 1912. The only big change is that it's been covered in red ink because by May 1912, when the registration was canceled, Titanic had, well, sunk. She never got to visit the city of her registry, but her sister Olympic did in 1911, and it virtually brought Liverpool to a standstill as thousands turned out to visit. 